if you don't mind. Sure. Is that okay? Okay. Um, I guess the first question is under EPA. EPA does not really cover <coughs> private wells. Is that correct? I mean, for in what aspect? Because we're, we're considered, we're not under the public water system. My, my understanding is that EPA is not over that. You are only over the government systems. Yeah, we don't regulate private wells. Private wells. Nor can you help somebody with a private well, is that correct? These are all coming from my own searches, so. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 what circumstance are you? Well, such as this. I, I guess it's a, it would have to be pretty specific. I mean, what's the relief that you're looking for? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily know. But so how, well, how can that. EPA help the private citizens that have wells that have E. coli and coliform bacteria and all these chemicals in them? Is there anything that you can do? to help us as private citizens. Uh, sorry, citizens. I get nervous. <laughs> You're doing well. Under the Clean Water Act now. No. Okay. The other question is, um, we keep talking about going to the federal level. Um, if if you can't help a private citizen or, you know, then how do we go to the federal level if we're not actually covered? Because again, you know, just from my Google searches, there's 17 million households that have uh, private wells. And many of them, many of them throughout this country have these same problems. Well, of course not with sewage. Um, so where do we go as private citizens to get the help for filtration systems, for te appropriate testing, adding a little bit more testing than what we're talking about? We're only talking about two bacteria when you have, again, it could be heavy metals, it could be arsenic, all of these other things that are in our well. Um, so where do we go? How do we get the help? I think you're looking at me because I must be the best looking one. Absolutely. <laughs> your first contact is your local health department. Right. That's your first contact. And what we're trying to do from this meeting, I thought we were going to have answers. Uh, we're wanting Valdosta to cooperate and to pay for these costs because they cost us. If we can't work it out, then the only thing, there's two options. If the EPA can, can do something, or we have to sue. That's just the way our government works. And we're trying to work, I, I would love to work it out with them. But can, they're can not we, here today for us to try to work it out. Can we go to the Department of Justice? Because again, this is this part is civil. We are all the civil. So are, are there cases that they have taken where it was of this magnitude that they could actually represent the people and hopefully to get us the help that we need. Well, I, I think one of the one of the outcomes we were expecting here today is we're getting. And that is, you know, what are the issues and where that's why we're here. You know, I think that's a very good point. Who who do you who does the owner of a private well, who can you turn to in government that could give you some relief? Right. And quite frankly, I, I don't know the answer. But we won't leave here for our separate ways. We'll leave here and we'll, we'll get the call. We'll, we'll be meeting. Well, can we also look into possibly like some of the data from CDC about what actually happens to people and families that are, you know, that do have wells that are contaminated? Because CDC has a whole lot of information about that. State ep epidemiology. Um, oh, she left. Okay. I mean, we really need to look at the health aspects of this and how it's actually affecting the families. I mean, I'm an animal person. Um, my dogs, literally, I, I have used my well water. You know, I've been there 14 years. I have used my well water. I drank my well water. And I think it was about five, I'm guessing, about five years ago, um, I started yeah, having all kinds of gastrointestinal problems. And, and, and I kept going, what am I doing? I mean, I'm a vegetarian. I mean, Healthy, but you know, I, I don't do a lot of crazy stuff. And you could stand next to me and you could hear my stomach just rumbling. And I thought, oh my God, what have I done? So I kept taking different foods out of, out of my system. And I'm like, I don't know what it is. It's still happening. And I kept getting sick. And um, so what ended up happening is my sister said, What about like going to distilled water? So I did that. And within a month, my body started to actually get better. My dogs. 
Uh, they actually, I have many dogs, and they're inside dogs, they would actually sleep, and urine would come out of them because of whatever is in the well. So, it's a serious problem, and, and so that's, I'm looking for, you know, some answers and some relief. Do you have those questions written down there that you could give them to us? I'd be happy to. I did call, uh, call the health department at, at, uh, at Hamilton County. There's been 35 wells tested. Of that, 37% um, have tested normal. The balance have tested with chloroform and E. coli. Of that, six of those are E. coli. And I got that from Jacqueline Dees. I just want to make sure that you guys hear the facts. Okay. Well, okay. where are those wells? Where are they? They're, they're all within a mile of the river. <coughs> Um, they had said that we could call the health department for well testing. The health department told me to lay it out. We don't do it. You're not a public well. You have to have a shared well. They would not come out and test our well <coughs> two years ago. Out a year ago. Both of them. Nope. Nope. They have to have a, a shared well before they'll do it. It has to be at least, I think they said four or five feet wide. You've got to have a shared well before this. But we do provide you the uh, bottling and sampling uh, equipment to take your own samples. Well, I get that at Flowers. I, I, I just pick it up at Flowers because i got to pay them anyway. <coughs> so, okay. um, um, right. I'm sorry I missed you, Sam. Oh, I'm sorry I missed you. Can I just ask one question? Yes. 